All right, so we're going to start with a six minute warm up. We want to gradually increase the intensity either before the warm up or right after. I suggest you move all the joints in your body. So, you know, roll your head a little bit, move your arms, move your hands, do a little standing on your toes, and you're good to go with the next exercise. Awesome. Let's get to it. Let's do it. So, this time we're going to do push ups, but we're going to do push ups with our hands on a football. You remember last time we did push ups with our hands on a foam pad. That was almost like a regular push up. This one's a little bit harder. It's going to challenge our core and our stabilizer muscles, much like we do when we ski. So, everybody knows how to do a push up, but we're going to do it on a football this time. I'm sure, this one is pretty challenging. More so than it looks. Have fun with that one. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Exactly right. Now we're going to do a one-arm row, but the twist is we're going to have our feet in a lunge position. So first we get into a lunge position. Now I want your back foot pointed forward, which makes the balance harder. So we're going to be like this, and we put the band underneath our foot, and then we row with one arm. So we're working on our balance, we're working on keeping our hips steady, we're keeping our core strong, and while that core is strong, we're also doing something with our upper body, which is what you're doing in skiing all the time. Looks like a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah, you'll like it. Can't wait. All right, so now we're going to do split squats with our rear foot elevated. So the way we do it is like this. We put our rear foot up on here, get comfortable in the length. And then we're going to go down to about a 45 degree angle here. That's as far as you go down when you're skiing, unless you're on the World Cup Tour. So down to 45 degrees is good. Now we're working our strength and our balance and our endurance all at once on these quads so they don't burn when you're on the slopes. They're going to burn some now. This is the most important of exercise of all, and we're going to do four sets. So one set is reps on one leg, and then we'll switch and we'll do reps on the other leg. So we're really getting into the strength building part of the program now. That's right. This is the most important exercise we're going to do today. That's why we're going to do four sets of it. And one more quick question. What size uh, object would you recommend for people to, to do this on? Good point. So this is about 18 inches tall. So a small stool, a box like this, the sturdy and ottoman would work. A couch is a little too high. This is much more like what you feel when you ski. So 18 inches is a good height. One of my favorite things about this program is how everything is so specific to skiing, so I love that. Absolutely. It's tailored totally to skiing. And by the way, it also works your whole body. So you can do this all year round if you want, and then you're super ready for skiing. Can't wait to try it. Can't wait to hit the slopes. Yeah. This one's called the Statue of Liberty. So we're going to move our leg and our opposite arm. So when you're skiing, you frequently use opposite sides of your body at the same time. So if you plant your pole, your outside ski is going to be over here. You plant your pole over here, your outside ski is going to be over here. So we're doing a coordination exercise and a strength exercise for core stability and, as almost always, for balance, too. So hold that for me for a second. Sure. So the motion looks like this or like this. Of course, we always do both sides. We're going to add the band to make it more of a challenge. There we go. We're going to do some lateral weight shifts now. So this is to work our core and our hips at the same time. You need to focus on keeping your hips level, which makes this a little bit more of a challenge than you might think. Here's the way it looks. Heard that once before. <laughs> so nice tight core, bend the legs, and then we're going to go back and forth and keep your hips level. You're going to feel a little bit of a stretch in the back of your hamstrings. If you go lower, you'll feel more of a stretch in the back of your hamstrings. So don't overdo the stretch but focus on keeping your core tight and coordinating with your hips as they change and you shift back and forth. Any correlation to, to skiing on this one, Steve? 
Yeah, you're always controlling your hips and your core when you're going through turns. And this is one more way to practice that coordination. Beautiful. We're gonna do horizontal runners. So it's a plank with some leg motion. So it's gonna really challenge our stabilizers more. And when we're skiing, we wanna have good stabilizers on our sides. So here's the way it looks. Awesome. We get up in a nice plank position, get balanced, and then we're gonna move this leg back and forth. So it's like we're running while we're in a plank position. If standing up on your Hand is too hard, you can do this on your elbow too. More ski fun! Absolutely. We're gonna keep working on our balance and our hips. And so this is like climbing on horseback. All right, so here's how it looks. I'm gonna balance on one foot. I'm gonna go over and back. Because I think it's so cool how everything Over. you're doing is so specific to skiing. How is this related to skiing? Yeah, so we're keeping our balance on one foot. We're educating our balance coordination and we're practicing doing one thing with balance while we're doing something else with the other leg. And so in skiing, you're doing one thing with your outside ski and another thing with your inside ski. So we're working both those things at once. Well said, very well said, Steve. All right, this is gonna be a, what we call a four point rotation over our femurs, over our top leg bones. Now, the reason we're doing this is that when we're skiing, our bottom half of our body is going this way with our skis and we're facing downhill. And then we come back this way and our legs are facing this way and our body's facing downhill. Most of that turn is right here in your hips. So the only part we're turning is here. We're not gonna do this during the exercise. We're only gonna move our hips. So we want some resistance so we can build up muscle memory and some strength. So we're gonna have the band anchored over here on the door. And then we're gonna do a four point rotation like this, back and forth. Now the four points are the two points of my hips and the two points of my shoulders, and they stay in sync. So we got a four point rotation going back and forth. So when we're skiing, the, the lower body is moving underneath the upper body. When we're exercising, we really can't do that. So we're moving the upper body over the lower body, but you're still gonna remember that when you're on the slopes. The Romanian deadlift, but we're using a band to challenge our balance and to keep our upper body and lower body coordinated. Cool. So in skiing, we're always working on balance. We're always working on the upper body and lower body coordination. So now we're keeping everything stable. Here's how it looks. Oh, it's challenging. It is. But that's what also makes it fun, right? That's right. Wow, impressive. All right, now we're gonna do some football leg curls. We're doing these because we're gonna work our hamstrings a little more aggressively to keep them in harmony with the quads that we worked a lot on today. And the twist is, in addition to curling our legs up, we're also going to curl our feet up like this. And the reason we do that is when you're skiing, you tend to get in the back seat at the end of a turn, or the terrain may throw you a little bit, and you get your weight too far back. And the way you get your feet and your weight back to the front where it belongs is you use your hamstrings and this motion with your feet. So we're going to practice doing that at the same time. Now we're on, when we're on the slopes, if we get in the back seat, we know, oh, it's just that football leg curl thing that I do. And it's, it's a instantaneous thought. You don't have to think about it. It's already there. You've already practiced it. So we're building a lot of this muscle memory. Is that what I'm hearing? Exactly. We're building muscle memory to get out of the back seat and the front seat where you belong. Here's how it looks. Get our feet up on the ball, point our toes out, bring our toes in. Point out, bring our feet in. Toes out, feet up. Toes out, feet up. And we're also working our core a little bit here too, which is always a good thing. Well, Steve, let's get into that front seat, baby. 
Absolutely, it's where you belong.